together uh, of what God is doing. I'm telling you, there's nothing that, you know, provoke the heart of God. That when he sees us going out, we souls. He sees us going out and spreading the gospel to others. Praise be to God. Hallelujah. For those who are taking notes, the title of my message today is Love Your Neighbor. Love your neighbor. And part B of this message will be who is your neighbor? Because sometimes people will be asking who is my neighbor because all your neighbors they keep fighting you, they keep beating you, they keep you know speaking bad things into your life, and then you've lost all your neighbor. And then you'll be asking who is my neighbor. And I believe by the grace of God, at the end of this sermon, God will answer all those questions to us. Amen. Amen. Praise be to God. Hallelujah. Amen. So, um, I just want us all of us to participate, uh, to be a part of it, and uh, anyone in London, playing, each one of us will be reading scriptures so that we are all uh, part of what God is doing. Praise be to God. Amen. Once again, those who are watching online, I invite you, and I'm just so grateful for your connection, for the support you're giving us, and please remember to share the video. Let us be a part of spreading the gospel so that we can take the gospel to all parts of the world. Amen. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Let's quickly open our Bibles to the book of uh, Jesus and um, um, Galatians chapter 5, verse 14. Galatians chapter 5. Galatians chapter 5. Praise be to God. Amen. Verse 14. Galatians chapter 5, verse 14. If Galatians? Mom, yes, please. Galatians chapter 5, verse 14. Galatians chapter number 5. And verse 14. Mm. Galatians 5 14. Mm. The Bible says, For all the law is fulfilled in one word, mm. even in this, you shall love your neighbor as you love yourself. Amen. Amen. The Bible says, For all the law is fulfilled in one word. Can you imagine? Mm. For all the law, for all the word of God, the Bible Amen. is fulfilled in one word. Mm. God is so beautiful. Hallelujah. That's why I'm just so excited uh, for when I see us as a church, we are going out to win souls. We are going out to do something. Mm. Amen. The Bible says, for all the law is fulfilled in one word. Amen. Even in this, you shall love your neighbor. As yourself. Amen. Now I'll just leave this machine for glory to say. Mm. But if you bite and devour one another, be word, least you be consumed by one another. Mm. Meaning every time you are fighting each other, God says you'll be consuming one another. Hallelujah. You know, Amen. Throughout the Bible, God has been dealing with people. Mm. If we look at the Bible from Genesis to Revelation, God has been dealing with people. And it is interesting to know how people uh, in the Bible somehow along the journey they miss their priority. Even today how people were missing the priority God has given us. But God says for all the law is fulfilled in one word. Even in this that you shall love your neighbor as yourself. Amen. Now, love is the only force capable to transform an enemy to become a friend. Amen. 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 Love is the only force capable of changing the most difficult enemy of yours to become a friend. Yes. But they get confused. Mm -hmm. Love can overcome hurt. Mm -hmm. Love can overcome. can overcome darkness. Yes. Love can overcome evil. Mm. Love can change our communities. Mm. Praise be to God. Amen. So God says, for all the law is fulfilled in one word, mm. even in this, that you shall love your neighbor as yourself. God is telling us that you shall love your neighbor as yourself. And you and me, we know that it takes love mm. to change our communities. It takes love. I, us as administrators have special gifts. They are nothing about love. Mm. 
done nothing but love. Every time Jesus went out, the Bible says he was moved with compassion. Mm. And then he healed the sick. He was moved with compassion. And then he preached the message of the kingdom. Mm. He was moved with love. And then he did the assignment that God gave him. I believe souls are the mannerism of the world, uh, to the world, are uh, some of the keys that God considers as part of his priority. If we go out and win souls, we go out and evangelize and bring people to the kingdom of God, these are the keys that God considers as priority in the kingdom of God. Glory be to God. Mm. We're going to read another scripture, Proverbs 11, verse 7. Praise be to God. What the Bible says, Proverbs 11, verse 7. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Proverbs 11, verse 7. Proverbs 11 mm. and 37. Verse 37. 30. <coughs> mm. uh, Proverbs chapter number 11, verse 30. Mm. The Bible says, mm. The fruit of righteousness mm -hmm. is a tree of life, mm. and he who wins his souls is wise. Mm. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. The fruit of righteousness is the tree of life. How many of us love life here? We will love life. Mm. Hallelujah. Amen. The Bible, okay, only from Amplified, men and women of God. Amplified says the fruit of consistently righteous is a tree of life. And he who is wise captures wisdoms for God. Amen. He gathers them for eternity. Mm. Can you imagine us as a ministry, us as a person, as a individual being a part of gathering people for eternity? Mm. Mm. Can you imagine what is awaiting us? That's why I'm so excited with what we're going to do on Saturday. Mm. I've, been, I've been waiting for this day. Amen. I've been praying, I've been waiting, and I've been pushing away all my programs. Amen. I remember there was, uh, my wife was panicking because this program was supposed to be yesterday. Amen. My wife was panicking, I can't miss this program. I can't miss this program because yesterday she went to minister somewhere. By the grace of God, the Lord spoke to the man of God who changed the day. It was like a hallelujah. She was almost the excitement. This is what I want. Because God says the fruit of consistently righteous is a tree of life. Amen. And who he and he who is wise is captures and wins souls for God. Amen. The wise people win souls for God. Mm. The wise church will win souls for God. And it, it doesn't end there. The Bible says you gather them for eternity. Amen. You read them the path of righteousness. You read them to the path of God. What is Matthew 14 verse 19 says? I want us to understand what the love is the only force that is capable to transform this evil into good. It's the only force. Pastor uh, Bonfis, what is your Bible says Matthew 4 verse 19? Praise be to God. Matthew 4. Hmm. 19. Matthew 4 verse 19, the mm. Bible says, mm. the Bible says, come, follow me, mm -hmm. Jesus said, mm -hmm. and I will make you fishers of men. Mm -hmm. At once they left their need mm -hmm. and followed me. <laughs> Jesus Amen. says, come, Amen. follow me, mm. come follow me, and I will make you fishers of men. They immediately left their nets and followed him. Mm. This is huge. Hallelujah. If we begin to do these things, I'm telling you. You see the scriptures that we keep professing that we can make your from the joy comes in the morning. Mm. If we begin to do these things, that's when we activate those scriptures Amen. in our daily living. Mm. But sometimes, you no, know, we're good, we're Christians, the call this good, but we need the priority. The moment as the church we begin to honor the priority, making disciples for Christ, winning souls, bringing people, being a part of what God wants to happen in that season. Hallelujah. Pastor will begin to activate those scriptures that we be made endure for a moment. Look at this, it's, it's a weapon. You know, sometimes we come here, look, it's just only leadership in the church. Mm. This is a weapon, may endure for a moment. But God says joy comes in the morning. How? When we continue to keep doing the rightful things, 
There is always a defining moment when everything comes into the fullness of time. Then God brings things into pass. Glory be to God so much. Hallelujah. Amen. So God says, Hallelujah. The fruit of consistent righteousness is a tree of life. And he who is wise captures and wins souls for God. God is looking for wise people. God is looking for wise men and wise women. God is looking for wise sons and wise daughters who can win people for God and we can gather them together for eternity. Every time we go out and do something and tell you the fear of God, on the surface we may not look it. But according to God, we gather them for eternity. Amen. We gather our cities for eternity. Amen. We gather our communities for eternity. Praise be to God. Love your neighbor. Hallelujah. Many times the children of God, we see the world as the evil and then we stay away from it. Many times. Hallelujah. Amen. And we don't want to have anything to do with the world. But God wants us to have something to do with the evil world. God wants us to have something to do with the world of the evil world. God wants us to go into the world and rescue those who are stuck up. Mm. God wants us to go into the world and bring those who are suffering daily from all the attacks of the enemy into God. Mm. But the problem is the enemy has put in a wrong mind in some of us. Mm. We say, well, those are evil people. We're going to stay away from them. God says, no, no, no. I want you to go out there. Where they are evil people, I want to go there mm. and bring them to the light. They are stuck Amen. up in darkness. They are stuck up with no knowledge. Some of them don't even have a faith. I went to a shop one day. I was buying a shoe. And then this lady, we started conversating. She said, there's something in you. The white woman said, there's something in you. Then I began to speak about my faith. This is not about faith. But you know what? I don't mind to have some kind of a faith. But I don't have any faith. That was the beginning. Mm -hmm. Immediately I started ministering to her. Now we've got this friendship. I'm just waiting for a moment when they'll come to church. But we talk on a daily basis. Amen. In the shop. In the shop. She says, you keep coming and buying your shoes, but you know there's something in you. Amen. Amen. Then that was the beginning. Of, that's how Jesus worked his ministry. Amen. They'll always build a conversation. The lady at the well says, you know what? We have nothing to do with you Jews. Amen. Amen. Says, we've got nothing to do with you Jews. We Samaritans. We are clean. We are dirty. And that was the beginning of the conversation. Amen. Amen. And God wants us to let this give. Hallelujah. Amen. So before Jesus left the earth, he gave us a commission. So he gave a commission to his disciples. And the church today. He said to us in Mark chapter 16, uh, verse 15. <laughs> Verse 15 and 16. Mm -hmm. If you can open Matthew chapter 16, I will read a number of scriptures today because I want to just uh, explain to somebody about Amen. this message love your neighbor. But somebody is having a question somewhere there who is my neighbor? Amen. Maybe they don't have a neighbor in the physical. Mm -hmm. Matthew 16, verse 15 and 16, and in Matthew 20, uh, this Mark, Mark 16. Hallelujah. Amen. This uh, 15 uh, to 16. Then Matthew 28, verse 19 to 20. Hallelujah. Mark 16, verse 15. Yes. He said to them, mm. Go into all the world and preach the good news. Hallelujah. Mm. Creation. Mm. Whosoever believes and is, and is baptized will be saved. Mm. But whosoever does not believe will mm. be condemned. Hallelujah. This is what exactly the man of God said in the morning was when he great laid us in prayer. Mm. Go. Hallelujah. Amen. This is a command. It's a command. He, he said, go into the world. Hallelujah. Verse 15. He says, go into the world and preach the gospel to every creature or to every creation. Mm. He who believes and is baptized will be saved. But you who does not believe will be condemned. So our assignment according to God is to go. Amen. To go. And this, I want us to check this, this very serious. Mm. God Amen. wants us to go. Mm. 
You see, we can come every Sunday, men and women of God, and give each other nice and beautiful sermons. If we miss the priority of God, it's not going to work. Mm. Amen. Says, Go into the world and preach the gospel. Mm. Those who believe will be baptized and be saved. Those who don't believe will be condemned. It's simple. What is Matthew, Matthew 28, verse 19 and 20 says? Because we're going to explain who is our neighbor. Matthew 28 and 19. <coughs> Therefore go and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, mm. and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, mm. and teaching them to obey everything I have commanded you. And surely I am with you mm. always, always. the very end of the age. Always the very end. Hallelujah. What is verse 19 says, man of God? Read again verse 19 for us. Verse 19, mm. it says, Therefore go, mm. go and make disciples of all nations. And make disciples of all, all nations. nations. Not of one nation, go. Mm. Make disciples of all nations. All nations. God wants all races to come to the knowledge of the truth. God wants the church to have all races. Every race. Make disciples of all nations. Mm. Asians, black, Chinese, white. Make disciples of all nations. All nations. And says, I'll be with you to the very end. Mm. God is so good. He will be with us as a church to the very end. Amen. Even if us we can't see it, but God says, I will be with you to the very end. Hallelujah. Go. Go. Go, kids. Mm. Go. Hallelujah. Yes, there is no moment, but go. Mm. So I believe that anyone born again knows how easy it is to start going to church. When you're born again, it's very easy to start going to church. We can easily forget that those who are behind, they don't even know how to start going to church. As we just wake up in the morning, it's in the system. Wake up in the morning, we have a shower, we dress up, we come to church. But those who have never been to church, they don't know how to start going to church. And if we don't go and reach out to them, they won't know. Mm. Because can you imagine the rest of their life, uh, Friday they go out for crabbing. Suddenly they lie in bed all day. Mm. They wake up in the afternoon, just have a meal, and they, they go again. Sunday all day. They and they don't know where you come and change the system. Mm. So as it's easy to wake up in the morning and come to change, I was driving here very excited. I'm going to change. It's in me. Amen. But those who have never had, it will change us. So God says, Go. Go reach out to them. Mm. They are stuck. They don't know how to come in. Just go. It is not your concern on how they can go how. Let go. Amen. Just go. Amen. And God says, listen, church, I will be with you to the very A end. Amen. Amen. God is so good. Mm. Hallelujah. People are still under storms out there. Mm. They don't even know how to come out of those storms. But God says, go, I'll be with you to the very end. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So why this message is so important to me and to each one of us today? Why? Well, this message is to remind us that there is much harvest in the field. Amen. 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 Why this message of love your neighbor is so important today? God says, the Lord says this. And it's, a, it's, it's, it's concluding in one word. The whole law, the whole Bible, the whole Torah is in one way. Love, love your, your name. neighbor as you love yourself. As simple as that. Amen. The, which means, that means, according to God, He understands this neighbor very different from how man understands them. Mm. But sometimes our physical neighbors, we, we, we have never spoken to them. Mm. So God has a different neighbor in His mind. Amen. Amen. So this message literally is just to remind us that the harvest is good. Hallelujah. And God is looking for us to go out there. Mm. Hallelujah. Amen. Let's look at John chapter 4, verse 35 of the day. John chapter 4. 
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. John chapter 4, mm. verse 85. Mm. Do you not say four months more than the harvest? Mm. I tell you, open your eyes and look at the fields. Mm. They are like for harvest. Mm. Even now, like draw, draws his wages. Even now, he, the harvest, the crop for eternal life. Mm. So that the sower mm. and the reaper mm. may glad together. Mm. Mm. Wow. See, God was taking away the mindset of waiting. Amen. Yeah. Well, let's wait maybe up until we are 100. Mm. Then we can divide. Can I stay on that mind? Mindset of waiting. Mm. You know, sometimes in the nature of man, we have the mindset of waiting. Amen. I will not do this up until maybe uh, Pastor Mahwe comes in. Mm. Up until Pastor Kole comes in. Up until uh, Brother So comes in. God says, do you not say there are still four months and then comes the harvest? No. There's nothing to worry. Now is the time for harvest. Autumn, summer, winter. It's the time for harvest. Amen. According to God. But according to man, there's a season for harvest. Amen. Amen. But according to God, don't wait. No. Anytime go for that harvest. Mm. I believe he was saying to us that use your spiritual instinct and be seen and see the opportunities that are bringing Christ is bringing to us. The opportunities that God is bringing to us. Amen. Shabbat. Amen. You see, Apostle Paul had a model of soul winning. You know, if you look at the book of Acts, we're not going to read it. There's a model. On the account of his missionary journey, the Holy Spirit forbade him to go into Bethlehem. He, the Holy Spirit stopped him. So he had his own model of soul winning. He was so much, he would discern things, he would perceive things in the spirit, and then he would know exactly I should go this side or not this side. But we, we, there are many models of soul winning. But that's just going out as a model on itself of soul winning. Amen. Amen, somebody. Mm. So he had his own model. Paul and his partner Silas prayed and sang songs of praise and suddenly the prison cells were open. Mm. That was the model. And the prison cell was open. You know what happened? Fear came mm. upon people. And they were easy, they easily accepted Jesus as the Lord had said. That was the model. His model was, was he was so much locked up in discernment. Mm. He was so much locked up in Picking up spiritual insight, perception, you perceive. There was a time they were about to take him from one prison to another prison crossing the sea. Then he told them, I can perceive that this journey is going to be difficult for us. And these are just normal people, soldiers. He says, I can perceive that this journey is going to be hard for us. There's no issue, but they still went on. You know what happened? It was so difficult on that journey. He says, I he didn't say God has spoken to him. He said, I oh, perceive this. And that was the beginning of change for some of them. Amen. Praise be to God. Amen. So God says, Go. <coughs> Hallelujah. Amen. After verifying Paul's prayer, the jealous fell down trembling and asked, What must we do? He invested in one of us, chapter 16. What must we do to be saved? Amen. After they verified what Paul said to them, So, what must we do to what be shall saved? We do? What shall we do? Then that was an opportunity, God, and it began to minister to them salvation. Salvation came to the jailers because he took advantage of the means that God put in his heart. Hallelujah, somebody. Amen. Hallelujah, somebody. In Luke chapter five, verse seven, Jesus said, "I said unto you, the likewise joy shall be in heaven over one sinner than the parents." And more than over 99, 99 just persons which need to be, which need no repentance. Mm. This is a very serious thing. Hallelujah. As a minister, I want us to understand this. Luke chapter 5, verse 7. Mm. I said to you that likewise, joy shall be heaven over one sinner mm. who repents than over 99 who don't need repentance. Mm. 
In heaven, the celebration will not make a decision for God. Amen. Hallelujah. So leading one sinner to Christ causes all heaven to rejoice. Can you imagine? Mm -hmm. So if we are going in this shadow and we capture one sinner, Amen. the Bible says there is much joy in heaven. Amen. Amen, somebody. Amen. As children of God, we are to seek and serve that which is lost. We are to do that, and it's a must. John mm. 3.16 says this, For God so loved the world that He gave His only Son, only begotten Son, that whosoever believe Him will not perish, but have life everlasting. Life. So by now we know that God is so concerned with us loving our neighbors. Mm. Because nothing in the law is beyond of loving your neighbor just as you love yourself. Somebody watching online today, and somebody in the house of God today, you may be asking the pastor, so who is my neighbor? Mm. I think it's just a very good question. Who is my neighbor? Mm. I want us to go to Luke chapter, chapter, chapter 10. We're going to read from verse 25. Let's go to Luke. Let's just jump to Luke chapter 10. Praise God. Amen. <coughs> Thank you, Jesus. Mm. Luke chapter 10, verse 25. Yeah. On one occasion, mm -hmm. an expert in the law stood up. An expert. Other versions is a lawyer. Mm. Yes. A lawyer. Keepers of law. Mm. Mm. On one occasion, an expert in the law stood up to test Jesus. Teacher, he asked, what must I do to inherit eternal life? Mm. What is written in the law? He replied. How do you read it? He answered, Love the Lord your God with all your heart, mm. with all your soul, mm. with all your strength, mm. and with all your mind, mm. and love your neighbor as yourself. Mm. You have answered correctly, Jesus replied. Mm. Do this and you will live. Hallelujah. But he went, but he wanted to justify himself, so he asked Jesus. And who is my neighbor? Mm. Mm. In reply, Jesus said, A man was going down to Jerusalem to Jericho. Mm. When he fell into the hands of the robbers, mm. they stripped him off of his clothes, belt, beat him, and went away, leaving him half dead. Mm. A priest happened to be going down the same road, and when he saw the man, he passed by. On the other side, mm. so too a Levite, when he came to the place and saw him, passed by, by, by on the other side. Mm. But a Samaritan, mm. as he as as he traveled, mm. came where the man was, mm. and when he up, he saw him, he took pity on him. Mm. He went to him and bandaged his wounds. Mm. Poor. Pouring on oil mm -hmm. and wine, then he put the man on his own donkey, brought him to to Anina, and took care of him. Mm -hmm. The next day, he took out two silver coins mm -hmm. and gave to the inner keeper. Mm -hmm. Look after him, he said, and when I return, I will reimburse you for an extra expense you may have. Which of these three of which of these three do you think was the neighbor mm. of the man who fell into the hands of robber? Mm. The expert in the law replied, the one who had mercy on him, Jesus said, go and do likewise. You see, Jesus is dealing with an expert. Mm. And I'm telling you, there are experts out there. They will ask us question after question after question. Okay. The Bible is very clear. Behold, a certain lawyer stood up and tested him. He tested Jesus, saying, Teacher, what shall I do to inherit eternal life? Remember, Proverbs says, When we win souls, we gather them together for eternal life. And this must be what must I do mm. to earn, to inherit eternal life? Eternal life. And he said to them, as it is written in the law, which law? The one God was speaking, that nothing 
in this world beyond the law of life. 